looking at Zoom integration for WooCommerce. Uh, basically, it's a plugin to allow you to integrate video conferencing with Zoom and WooCommerce. Uh, link to video conferencing with Zoom are available on the WordPress repo and WooCommerce uh, a solution to create e-commerce stores via WordPress also available on the WordPress repo. Uh, now let's get started. So as the name suggests, Zoom integration for WooCommerce requires both video conferencing with Zoom and WooCommerce. So both these plugins need to be activated for Zoom integration for WooCommerce to work properly. So once we have everything activated and ready, let's start and create a new WooCommerce product. Okay, so let's keep things simple for now. So I go to the WordPress products area, create new product. And let's say I'm going to be selling a yoga class at 6, 6 a.m. Yoga class for beginners. All right. So let's dismiss this. I don't need that. Okay. So let's keep it as a simple product. And since there won't be any uh, shipping, let's keep it as a virtual product. Okay. The price of the class is fifteen dollars. And as you see, after the Zoom integration for WooCommerce is activated, you'll see a Zoom connection tab over here. So you can go there and enable Zoom connection. This will allow you to link with meetings that are already existing on the site. So if you haven't created a Zoom meetings via the Zoom meetings tab, you can just simply click new meeting. Check out all the meetings there. So I don't have any available right now. So let's create a new meeting. Let's keep the name of the meeting and the product same so I can track it easier in the future. So yoga class at 6 a.m. Maybe I'll just add for beginners. Okay. So this all, all these options are from the video conferencing from Zoom plugin. So you can choose them as you want. So let's choose the time zone as well. Okay. So done. All other things are optional over here. So once I publish these changes, And I go back to my product section. I can finally search for that plugin. So yoga class at 6 a.m. for beginners. Okay. So you'll see the meeting details over here. All right. And product is. So we publish the product. Okay. So let's open this site on a new product new tab okay so I'm on a new browser so I'm not logged in actually I am logged in I'm logged in as a test user and a customer so I go to the shop page I can see yoga class at 6 a.m. here and when I see the details for the product you can see everything meeting details are shown on the tab here and I can continue the checkout process as I would for any product so note there isn't a quantity field available for the product because meetings can't be bought multiple meetings can't be bought at once so if i go back to the product and try to add to cart again you have already added this meeting in your cart so it can't be added again so please note that as well and then let's just complete the checkout process okay so i have all my details filled out as typical e-commerce solution and so and I've completed my checkout process and you can see on the order details page there's a join from link here as well as if I go to my my account section these are of course for the logged in or registered users only I can go to meetings and see my join link over here as well so if I click on this join link, it will activate. Okay, let's allow that. And <clears throat> if you have the Zoom app installed, you can see the meeting is scheduled here. That's that. Okay, that's the simple integration for Zoom products. 
Thank you for watching. Let's look at another way we can create a Zoom meeting product. So I'm on the Zoom meetings page or the Zoom meeting listing page over here. So let me create a new meeting. So let's say I have a class at 10 a.m. Okay, so I can I can put class details here, class details here, and let's fill out all the details required for to create a Zoom meeting. So it's 10 a.m. So let's say it's on. All right, let's say Tuesday, 24th of March, and. Right over here, okay, 10 a.m. All right, so I can put my time zone. Let's say I'm in Vancouver for now, and and we can see after all the details are filled over here, the Zoom integration for WooCommerce plugin adds this sidebar over here WooCommerce integration. So if I click on this, it will enable purchase and I can enter the price for the meeting. So let's say it's ten dollars for now. Uh, enabling this will create a new WooCommerce product, right? So let's create this. Uh, one key thing to remember is this is an alternative way to create the product. So once I create this pl product, uh, this meeting, class at 10 a.m., <clears throat> if I go over to the product section on the back end, I can see the new class at 10 a.m. Zoom product has been created. So let's take a look at this product. Okay. So, right, so the name is the same as the meeting name. Details are also posted here. And you can see the product type has been changed to Zoom meeting. And of course, the Zoom connection is connected to that class. Okay. So, one thing to remember here is the catalog visibility. So, as you can see the catalog visibility is set to hidden what this means is that this product won't show up on the store pages of the of the site so if you want uh, this product is intended to be viewed by the zoom meeting page so this page over here so you can see this is the default zoom details page and since I am the uh, creator of this meeting I don't get a purchase button right? I get a start meeting button instead so however if I go to another browser Safari you can see the buy now link over here so once I click buy now it will immediately redirect me to the checkout page and I can complete my purchase there so another thing to remember is that I can actually if I want this product to be changed in some way I can do that as well so let's say I want this to be shown on the shop so shop and search results okay so I can even change it to a simple product if I want to so I can put it as uh, and then I can change the pricing etc so let's say I change the pricing to 20 fifteen dollars on sale if I want that so I don't want that let's say okay uh, let's go to Safari as you can see the product is on the listing pages as well and if I go to the cart page it's currently empty so I can go back here and add it again So that's about it. There are different ways that Zoom integration for WooCommerce can be used to create products. Please use the best method for your purposes. Thank you. <clears throat>